today's lesson we'll be looking at BNU 1501 that is basic numeracy we are looking at examination preparation we will be focusing on question 1 5 and 6 of October November 2018 question paper the topic is algebraic this is lesson 101 let us start this is the actual question extracted from the October November question paper, which is question two. The question says simplify the following expression as far as possible. So we just need to simplify, meaning that we need to get rid of the brackets. Our final answer should not have any brackets. And remember that the opposite process of this is factorizing whereby you are given something like this and then your final answer should have um, brackets so simplifying it's when we remove brackets factorizing it's when we introduce brackets so in this case we just need to multiply a term out of the bracket with the terms inside the bracket we multiply one by one so starting with the first bracket we're going to multiply x multiplied by x we are going to get x squared then it's x multiplied by negative 2 it's negative 2x so we are multiplying a, a term with a binomial then we are done with this we go to the next one but the next bracket we can see that it's a bit different from the first bracket because we have two terms on both sides of this bracket and then we have this negative here so we should be very careful when we do this let us start with this term and multiply inside the bracket so what we are going to do we are going to rewrite this negative 2 and then we open bracket again x multiplied by this one we are going to have um, x then x multiplied by this um, negative x squared it's negative x to the power 3 close bracket minus 4x then we don't do anything to this 4x because um, we can see there's no bracket before or after this 4x then the next process we need to remove this bracket using this 2 outside so we have x squared minus 2x negative 2 multiplied by x it's negative 2x negative 2 multiplied by negative x to the power 3 it's positive 2x to the power 3 and then we have this negative 4x here now we need to simplify the like terms looking at any term that is raised to that has x raised to the power 3 we don't have um, another term so we just rewrite the way it is 2 to the power x i mean 2x to the power um 3 and then looking at other terms that has um x raised to the power 2 we only have this so let us rewrite it also x squared then let us look at other terms that has x raised to the power 1 so we have this this and this so negative 2x minus 2x it's uh, negative 4x and then minus this 4x it will give us negative 8x so this is the correct um, simplified expression of this question then we can see that the correct option here is option 1 as you can see this is the same as what we got here let us go to the next question our next question is question 5 it says solve the following equation and then we have this equation here let us use the space so that we have enough room to answer this question so the first thing that we have to do we need to simplify the bracket so let us rewrite what is on the left hand side 2 multiplied by 3 we have 6 
2 multiplied by negative 5a is negative 10a. And then we, we must equate everything to 0. So we are going to transpose this terms to the other side. So we have 7 minus 4a. 6, we transpose it to the other side with negative 6. Negative 10, transpose it to the other side is positive 10a. It equals to 0. Now, looking at the like terms, we have 10a and negative 4a. So, um, 10a minus 4a is 6a. And then we have other like terms, which is 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is equals to positive 1 equals to 0. Now, let us transpose this to the other side. We have 6a is equals to negative 1. Then, how do you remove 6 from a? We divide by 6 both sides. Then, our a will be equals to negative 1 over 6. So, this is the solution to this equation. We can actually prove if our answer is correct. Where we see a, we substitute by our solution. And then the left hand side must be equals to the right hand side. Let us quickly do so. So we have 7 minus 4, negative 1 over 6, equals to 2, 3 minus 5, negative 1 over 6. Simplifying the left hand side, you'll get 23 over 3. When you simplify this also, it will also give you 23 over 3. So since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, it means our solution is correct. So let us look at the best option. It's option 4. So option 4 is the correct option for this question. Now moving on to the next question we have this particular equation that involves fractions solve the following equation 5 over 9 x plus 1 over 3 is equals to 5 over 6 x let us start by grouping all the terms that has x raised to the power 1 so we have 5 over 9 x Going to transpose this to the other side and then take this one to that side. So it's minus 5 over 6 x is equal to negative 1 over 3. So this is the same as 5x over 9 minus 5x over 6 is equal to negative 1 over 3. There is a lesson video whereby we simplify um, fractions, how we multiply fractions, how we um, minus fractions, how we go about solving any terms involving fractions. We need to solve the fraction on the left hand side and then if it happens that we need to do this without a calculator, this is the most easiest way to simplify this. You need to find the lowest common denominator. Or we can simply take 9 multiplied by 6, it will be our lowest common denominator. But we don't find or we don't simplify it. Let us simply put it like this. So how do we use this? Since we have 9, 6 as our lowest common denominator, we start with the first fraction, the denominator of the first fraction. So it's 9 multiplied by 6 divided by 9, which is this. Then we can see that this 9 will get rid of this, and then we are left with 6. This 6 multiplied by the numerator of that particular denominator. So on the numerator we have 6 multiplied by 5x. Since we have negative here, we put that negative here. So we need to repeat the process with the second, the second fraction. So we take the numerator of the second fraction, divide it, actually the, low, the lowest common divide by the denominator of the second fraction. This 6 will divide, will get rid of this. And then we are left with 9, 9 multiplied by this. So we, we have negative 9 and 5x.
then we can go ahead and multiply 6 multiplied by this 5x we have 30x negative 9 multiplied by 5 it's 45 x over 9 multiplied by 6 it's 54 equals 2 we still have our negative 1 over 3 here then 30 minus 45 it's negative 15x over 54 it's equals to negative 1 over 3 and then 15 negative 15 I mean divide by 54 is negative 5 over 18 x equals negative 1 over 3 from here we can simply divide by negative both sides we're going to have 5 divided by 18 x is equals to 1 over 3 then remember that we are solving for this x so let us multiply both sides by 18 to remove the fraction that we have here so this will get rid of this and then we have 5x is equals to 18 over 3 18 divided by 3 is 6 and then we divide both sides by 5 we have x is equals to 6 over 5 but remember that this is an improper fraction because we have a bigger number on top of um, a smaller number so in this case we have to write this in a mixed fraction so we check our 5 will be part of the mixed fraction remember that the denominator will always be part of the mixed fraction now 5 goes only once into 6 so we put the number of how many times this denominator goes into our numerator it goes once and then if you can check 6 minus 5 it will give us 1 so 5 goes once into 6 and then the remainder is 1 so the correct answer for this question is 1 1 over 5 there is a lesson video whereby we look at mixed fraction how to work with mixed fractions so the correct answer to this one we can see it's this one which is option one that's it for this lesson video there is the next lesson video or let me say we do have other lesson videos whereby we look at examination preparation choosing questions from random question papers and then if the lesson video deals with algebraic um, it will only consist of questions based on that particular chapter then if you're dealing with financial mathematics just know that the lesson series will be based on questions which are extracted randomly from past question papers for that particular um, topic this is Wahula SJ thank you very much